Hey, how's it going, everyone? Hope you all doing well. Hi. Let me just post I'm going live. Let me know in chat if you can see and hear me okay as YouTube's been having issues today. So give me a little wave, please. So yeah, let me know in chat if you actually can say and hear me, guys. Because you... You're here. Nice, excellent. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah, YouTube's have been having issues today, so... Okay. Nice. Thank you very much, guys. Alright. Bear with me a sec. Alright. New game. So, I played this through many times before, uh, and I want to play through it again. So, let's get into it. Uh, the, if you haven't played the infective, it, it, like the infected, it's a very good build and survival game where you gotta kill vambies, which are vampires slash zombies, so they're called vambies. Um, yeah, good building. Got blueprints in the game, which you gotta go and scavenge for and stuff like that. As always, though, guys, make sure you do hit that like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. You looking for this one, right? Enable uh, auto save. Actually, I want that on. Temperature type month length. So there's four months. So I want a month every sixty minutes. Mm, uh, let's do 120 minutes. I don't know. Uh, mm, I think sixty will be fine, actually. Right, I want technologies on. Let's have a look at the... Uh, I haven't actually seen the AI settings. Sent, right, I want them off. I hate the noise. So, the fox makes this annoying little noise. And it, and it, and it squeaks. And it really triggers me. So, I'm, I'm just going to disable that animal. Um. Alright. Have a look. Keep scorpions on. Uh, butcher and blood splatter, guys. It's absolutely grim. It's funny. Vambi mini boss. So these are the settings I want to have a look at. Okay, let's keep that. Okay. Game name. New YT. New YT. Playthrough. Start game. There we go. I never forget. <laughs> I appreciate it, mate. Thanks. Yeah, let's just sort the audio out for you. Alright. Done it. Okay. Um, where am I on the map? Ooh. If I'm lucky, the truck location might be up here. It's actually a pretty good spot, this. But it's also a pain in the ass because I've got to travel to all of these towns down here it's actually be bad to be central to be honest i'm quite out of the way here so it's going to be a pain in the ass getting down here hmm. right, let's get down by the water Need some sticks, that's what I need. Hey boy, how you doing mate? Come on, give me a stick. I 
a little frog. Um, I'm in a world where no sticks exist. FBI has arrived. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I haven't done anything illegal today, I promise. Don't know why I'm harvesting that onion. I can't do anything. Where the hell are the sticks are? What I need is one stick. Plenty of cucumbers. I'll take them all day long. Ah, there we go. I can't, even, I can't actually remember. Oh, oh there we go. Couldn't remember the uh, thingy there. Alright, there we go. Uh, thanks, John. Yeah, um, I was going to mention it a little bit later on, but, um, so, quite a few people uh, enjoy watching me, like, doing variety games, which I don't, really shouldn't be covering on YouTube, because it doesn't help my channel. Uh, so, on an evening, I'm going to be playing, like, variety games. Nothing to do with my YouTube channel whatsoever. So, if you want to see me playing other games and play through of games which aren't survival related and stuff like that. Uh, you can uh, follow me on Twitch if you like. Starting tonight. Uh, the link's down in the description. Alright, uh, what we got here? Like I said, it's not going to affect the YouTube channel at all. Um, so, yeah. The building is so simple in this game, you literally press E and E again. It's great. Thatch hood, yes. No, you can't snap uh, sticks off trees, mate. It, it, to be honest, it's really easy to get sticks. Uh, I'll show you, actually. Um, right. So what you do is, you, once you've chopped this tree down, you can right click, harvest a log, and there you go, you get, you get all the sticks and uh, firewood and stuff you need. I'd, I'd like thinking adding new materials outside the norm once in a while is a good idea. Ma what you, materials? If you're referring to uh, what I talked about about Twitch, um, I'm still going to do all of the survival and colony uh, build uh, builders and everything over on YouTube. It's like more like, do you know when I was like playing like um, Hogwarts and stuff like that? 
It doesn't do anything for my channel. It's cool that I uh, can sit down, chat you, and play it. But um, yeah, it, it it doesn't help my channel. Uh, like growing, unfortunately. Um, right. So to get planks, you need to get. Uh, let's have a look. Construction placeables. Uh, so yeah, so basically, I, I'm assuming most of you play Icarus here. Know how in Icarus you want like junction boxes and uh, stuff like that? Well, this game's got it. This game has a lot of the things that you ask for in Icarus, to be, uh, to be fair. Because... Uh, in the past, you used to uh, have to uh, survive like a horde wave every other like five nights or three nights or whatever it was. And um, now they've got it where there's actual mini bosses that roam the world now and attack your base and stuff like that instead of having like raids on the night time which used to attack your base. Need some planet crafter guide. I've got loads of planet crafter guides, mate. I've literally got a full uh, 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 yeah. Just put them in the um. Just put them in the uh. Just search planet crafter on my channel, mate, and you'll find them. I put out one the other day about the waterfall, but th there was one I was thinking about doing, but I'm not quite sure if. What I'm doing is a bug or isn't a bug, but yeah. So as you can see, to make these foundations really easy, you just need the logs. And then just need to get the planks off here. Ideally, you do want to be, um, as you can see in the bottom right, you've got all of the uh, stats and stuff like that. You have to keep track of your vitamins and stuff like that. In my opinion, the hardest time to survive is the first year after that. If you haven't got a greenhouse or some kind of farm plot down, um, yeah, you should be absolutely fine. It's live streams mostly. Uh, I'll, I'll have a look. I, I'm, yeah, I know I ha do have a, a few on there. I'll have a look. I'll sort it out for you later on, okay, mate, and I'll uh and I'll put the uh I'll put the planet craft up on the front of my YouTube page. It's re it's pretty hard to make a, a like a coherent uh like guide for it because you know the time difference between uh, the the growth of stuff and whatever. Uh, how much? Well, I've got quite a bit of juice left in this axe. So yeah, you can get a truck in this game. Um, you can build oil derricks and like. Automated miners and stuff like that, which have got a fuel. But to get the blueprints, you've got to go to towns and um, find them. And they're always random as well. You'll always get like two, two or three blueprints, I believe, um, in each town. But they're always it's always orange G, orange G, and you never know what's gonna be in the towns. The graphics are nice on this game, yeah. It's even nicer once you start building, mate. Oh, you, you, your builds do get big on this game. Like I said, you've got to house like a big red truck and everything later on. Uh, you can build a garage for it as well, though, but... 
And I normally just go for a simple 2x2. Two two. Basically what I did in Icarus back in the day. Uh, when I first started out in that. Um... Uh, let's put the entrance here, I guess. Um, let's have a window here. You don't want too many windows because when it's a uh, winter, you know about it. So, you definitely don't want too many windows unless you know you can get the glass to actually put in them. No, it's not multiplayer, mate. It's just uh, single player. There's no weapons. That, that, there's no rifles or guns or anything in the game. The devs are highly against it. So you're limited to, like, bows, spears. Um, yeah. Bows, spears. But you can build, like, defense, like pretty uh, hefty defenses um, around your base and stuff. Um, but you... Like, honestly, once you get the steel spear, you can find it, uh, but you can craft the katana as well. The katana used to be OP, but um, I still think uh, the steel spear is still the go-to best weapon. Unless somebody in chat knows anything otherwise. But yeah, the um, the new, well, I say new. It's been in a few months now. Um, oh, you can get an AI character to help you as well. You have to find them and you have to like get them back to your base and heal them and stuff like that. Um, like the the mini boss which roams around with the vambies, that can make a uh, fast work of your defenses or so. Yeah, spear and bow are the best weapons, yeah. I like the bow. This is probably the only survival game where I actually like winter. Winter is a... Like, well, the first time you uh, do winter... Is a like a somewhat of a challenge? You love the name Van B. The mini boss also, yeah. Well, the mini boss, um, when it first got added, it was bugged as hell. It was like dropping twenty five Kevlar and stuff like that. I, like, I know they nerfed it a bit. I know that it still drops uh, Kevlar and stuff, but I know they also removed a lot of stuff from the loot table, though, re in regards to that. It was broken though. Like, I, like I had hundreds of Kevlar at one point from just farming the Bambies, uh, like the mini boss. I got the devs are working on better models for the uh, Vambies and the mini boss and stuff though. I, 
because uh, I like I follow them on Twitter. Um, yeah. The new models look pretty sick, to be fair. But yeah, um, like you can see here, yeah, barbed wire fence and stuff like that. Um. Yeah, you need like Kevlar because you can make like headlights and stuff like that. Uh, and armor and cloth. But the thing is, you can't just make them outright. So for the make cloth, uh, you've got to find the loom blueprint. And then you've got to craft the loom. Um, and for plastics and stuff, you have to find the oil, like the oil blueprints and stuff like and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, you, 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 not everything's happening. There's no like... um. Oh, I'm trying to think of the word. Tech tree in the game. But you've got to find the blueprints to be able to progress, basically. And like I said, you get like the blueprints in the, in the towns. So you, you you have to go out into the towns. The only problem is, I'm in a really crappy spot. Like, I am up here, and the fish lake's down here, the croc lake's down here. This is like really important down here to get the crocodile backpack. Because it's absolutely enormous. A new map is coming soon. What, another one? Because I know they updated it for the roads. Yeah, they're, they're always the ones I need to get the last as well, gaming. <laughs> Every playthrough I've done of this, I always get the loom last. Like, religiously. End of March. Oh, it's all right. I, I would have done this playthrough by March. End of March. Then it gives me a good excuse to start again. At the end of March. All right, let's get a door on this thing. Uh, wall, wall. Eight planks. Let's get some water. Oh wait, I've got my canteen, haven't I? So you can't just drink the water straight away. The only time you can do that in the canteen uh, when you start the game is when you have it pre-filled for you. But uh, you've actually got to boil it and stuff like that. There's a YouTube trailer with it, is it? Oh, I missed that. I'll have to check that out. Probably check. I'll check it out on stream in a little bit. I just want to get um. Just want to get settled.
Alright, what's the recipe for this again? Katana, Storm Blade, Three Stick, Five Plant Fiber. I think it's two of these, right? No? Okay. Oh, let me figure this out. Oh, it's one small stone. I thought it was two. All right, let's get a roof on. FYI, guys, the thunder in this game and lightning is ridiculous. It goes from zero to a thousand in seconds. Um, see, uh, well, I always get spawned in different locations for this anyways when I start a new game. But, uh, it, it is very advisable to start next to the, start next to the water though. Because of, um. It, yeah, it, 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 it's just highly advisable. Because you need the water and everything that air uh, water your crops and very various other things like that. The female zombies are the worst on this. I, like, them things, man, they're evil. You love the building in this game, same here, mate. Totally agree. It has some of the best building in any survival game I've played. I'm not usually a fan of the blueprint style building. But, I don't know, this game just seems to work well for me. Uh, there is wildlife in the game as well. We're probably, because of where we are, we're probably going to encounter bears more than anything. Uh, all wildlife used to roam before. We might get sheep as well. But, um, yeah. The, the certain wildlife only roam in certain areas now. So yeah, he has your, your fridges and stuff like that. Uh,
You can build like proper roofs and stuff like that. I just want to try and get out this rain and get a fire going. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I've made my opinions clear on uh, Sons of the Forest. I, uh, yeah, the game just looks ridiculously boring for me. It doesn't look like it's a vast improvement over the first one. That's why I haven't played it. I'm glad the game's done well, though. Come back here. Come on. Yeah, it like I see this. Is I love my survival games and that one just didn't really do much for me. Alright, there we go. Alright, food. Hopefully that'll tide me over. I need to get the stones for this. In fact, I could probably do a, a storage chest here. Um, eight planks. Let's do that. Alright, so what I need now is to make a pickaxe. Ooh. New donation from Lee. Hey, thanks a lot, mate. Much appreciated. Thank you. Very generous of you. Stone blade, two plant fiber and one stick. Stone blade, give. One stick. I shouldn't really just be standing here like doing this. Was it two plant fiber? Hey, there we go. All right. Yeah, thanks for that, mate. Much appreciated. Yeah, I need to be basically I need to get this fire going so I can start boiling some water because my guy is like really not feeling too healthy here. But yeah, this game is on Steam, guys, if you are interested. I'm not quite sure if it's on sale or anything yet. 
uh, at the minute, but yeah. I have to remember which rocks give me a uh, clay and stuff like that. Give me that. All right. I have dirty water. Let's place that in there. And that in there. Right, let's start boiling up that water. Ah, cheers, mate. I do appreciate it. Right. Let's start making some boards here. We've got a roof. We've got a fire. And we've got a bed. We are now cooking. Let's get some storage down. How we doing with this? Clean water. Nice. There we go. Let's grab that. Let's have a drink. Let's go and get some more dirty water. So these used to have fish in it. All, all of the little uh, lakes used to have fish in them. And then in, in the last day, uh, when the map got revamped, to put all of the fish down in this lake here. Which is a little weird in my opinion. But yeah. So you, it's a bit of a pain now to get um, fish. Because what I used to do is during the winter. I used to have one. Because what, what you can do is you can either kind of like cheat. You can put a bear on the back of a, a, like a like a hand wagon cart thing. And they'll not like decompose. So when it comes to winter, you just have a couple of carts with a bear on each, like a dead bear. And <laughs> you can just put them on the butchering table and uh, uh, butcher them up during the winter. And then you can just like create like loads of dry food and stuff like that. So, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if you can still do that, to be honest. I'd be all over this game. Yeah, I never run back and uh, keep on filling it up to 200, mate. I'd, I've never done that. Like, I really should, but yeah. But yeah, like, print, like uh, Prince said, you can fill it up to 200, but... I like to know if I'm taking 60 out and putting... Putting 60 in. And then I know when I go to put uh, another... Uh, take another 60 out the... Uh, out of here and put it in there. I'm not messing anything up. Alright, let's go and get some food. We need some meat. Empty the storage a bit. Alright. I remember when I first ever played this, I was like, how the hell do you get iron? How would you think you get iron in this game chat? Obviously, if you know, don't say. Like, you know, you'd think you'd go into a cave or something like that, wouldn't you, and mine it. For about five hours, I was banging my head off my keyboard, like, stressing out. Thinking, how the hell do you get it? You literally mine this, and when it bring, breaks up into regular stones, you put them in the furnace, and you get lumps of iron from it. 
like that had never even occurred to me. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I like getting the aluminium flask. It's um, it's like basically the first thing I try and uh, get. To be honest, I like to have one. I like to have one for drinking and one for air uh, water and water in the air uh, crops. No, I'm not an Icarus. Can't do that. Can we not do that? Oh, there we go. This is... Oh, I don't have a butchering table, though. I need something small. I need, like, a chicken or a seagull or something like that. <laughs> All right. Meets back on the menu. Pop that in the corner for now. That's another thing I like in this game. Uh, it suits it well where you can just like move stuff by pressing N and you'll not get like penalized for it or anything like that. All right, I want to get a couple of furnaces down now. Uh, let's grab that. All right, Prince, you take it easy, mate. Thanks for hanging out. All right. This is, if you're new to the game or you're thinking about getting it, I do have a few guides on this game. Uh, especially how to get the AI character and, um, and the buildings you need and stuff like that. I do have a full guide on that. Right. Furnace. Placeable. Gonna get a little messy in here, but... It'll work. I'll do two furnaces for now. Like, later on, you can build, like, a fireplace, and you can just, like, mass-produce bricks and, like, loads of crazy stuff like that. And different ores. Um, once I get set up here, I will head into town. Uh, because I've got right close to me, actually, this one up here. Yeah? I need to get some stone first. To be honest, th th this game does suit uh, single player though. Um, as you'll see, as you as you progress, it um, it, I don't know. Personally, I don't think it would be suited for multiplayer.
Like, but like, if you're talking like Green Hell or something like that, like Green Hell is a uh, multiplayer game. It's definitely uh, good. It's much better multiplayer than it is solo. Even though like solo is a good experience. I'm really surprised I haven't seen a Van B wandering around, to be honest. Oh, hello. Can you not click them? Oh, there we go. So yeah, Vambies are like, basically, they look like zombies, but they're, they, the mini boss one has a big, um... Oh no, it's got a dead seagull here. Oh, it's a pigeon. Is he getting meat off that? It's got feathers. Uh, and the, the mini boss has got like a brown waistcoat on, kind of thing. Alright, Leaf, you take it easy, mate. Thanks for the donation as well. Alright, let's get these. We'll head off into town in a minute. Actually, I'll do it on the next day tick. It'll be easier. And then I'll have more time in town. Get our food here. Oh, jeez, cucumbers are corn. Corn. Alright, let's... So to create iron, you need fuel, which I don't have apparently. Um, yeah. Okay. That there. How did you see the time of day again? I can't remember. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Let's get some fuel for this furnace and start making some iron. So the... The, the, the type of clothes you wear in this game are, like, impactful as well because you can overheat. So if you've got, like, your fire and then, like, a bunch of furnaces right next to each other in the same room and stuff like that, you can overheat and uh, your guy does not like it. That's clear, I remember now. Alright. Them on there, start cooking them. Yeah, when I when I found out that you could like just cook the rocks to get the iron, I was like, what? Oh, let's make some storage for the logs. But yeah, these are all the blueprints you have to find. 
Um, like uh, Prince was saying in chat earlier on, the Loom and the Advanced um, Workbench technology are pretty much the main ones to get. But like, I've never, ever, like, honestly, gotten the Loom. Like, I always get it last. It's the very last or second last blueprint I get. And it's a very frustrating. Because if you get the Loom early, that means you can go and do the crocodiles where you can make the um the backpack. Without the loom you can't make it. So Yeah. Uh firewood, plank, log. Let's get that. Let's put that there by the door, I guess. Actually, Put that outside. Let's do that there. I need six sticks. Still collecting some logs. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a bow as well now. I need an anvil and a butchering table. If I can get them, I'm good. I don't know how I'm going to fit it inside my base, but yeah, that's what I need. Got my first iron lumps. Oh, I forgot to light that. Are oh, you burk? You know you're a true survivalist when you forget to light the fire to make your iron. Okay. So... Yeah. That's five iron ingots. But I need the food. Which is... That is a lot of iron ingots, but it has to be done. Um, keep it basic for now. So it's five lumps to every one ingot. So yeah, I need quite a bit. Should I do? I might. If I do a log cart now, that'll. Yeah, I think I might get the log cart out of the way now. If I do that, that means I can haul a, like a lot more stuff, and then I can loot the towns a lot easier. Um. I am gonna need ten nails for this, so that means I need the anvil, which is yeah. So that's five ingots. Just place that there for now. And eight planks. But yeah, like I say, this game does have seasons on it as well. So... It is wise to keep track of what season you're in.
Alright, I've got enough for one ingot. So... Plant it there. One, two, three, four. Them in there. Okay, so that'll be two ingots I can make after that. Alright, I've got one slot left. Um Okay. So I'm gonna do a bow. Uh the thing is though if I do the bow I can't do the quiver. Cause I you need animal hide for the quiver, which I can't get until I get the butchering table. Oh yeah, I may have to like not do the bow just yet. I might do a second spear. What was it? Three fiber, wasn't it? Three. No? Two? Oh, wrong one. Alright, I give up. Which one is it? Um. Ah, five. Oh, it's three sticks. Three of them. Five of them. Um, all right, so there's two ingots. I need to get some more stone to time. Snagging a bear killer is definitely worth it on this game, though. If you've got a butchering table and you can move the bear with, like, a um, a log cart, definitely worth it. So, how many ingots was it for the uh, anvil again? Five. So loud. Uh, I could cook up some more water. So what you can do as well is for cut. You can actually catch the rainwater. Um, find it. Yeah, so yeah, water basin. It's just to take an ingot to make, and now they're super cheap. And they're very helpful as well for just getting water in general. Uh, let's put them there, I guess. Yeah, it's five iron ingots. Where 
pretty sure I've seen a cucumber out there, didn't I? I am very surprised no zombies have even just like waltzed through my base yet. I need a frog. I need something to get some meat off. One second, guys. All right, have a look in here. Get them. They should start filling up with water. Nice. The only problem is, like, it's great that they fill up with water, but come winter time, it freezes. <laughs> so. But it is handy just to grab water from there. Especially if, like, uh, like chat said earlier on, you just build anywhere. You don't have to build near the water, but it does help. Like, there's a big water tank you can build in the game later on as well, like, oh, yeah. Water tower or something like that. It's three ingots, so one, two, three, four. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Hey, hey. Gonna say, why can't I take the water out of there? Harvest them. Whenever it goes quiet, it's just generally the calm before the storm. So what do I need here? Just 10 iron ingots fall out. 
Right, I've got enough for the five ingots now. One, two, three. Oh, wait, what? Oh, well, anyways, that, uh... Could have swapped. My bad. Um, one, two. I am desperate for some meat now. <laughs> Give me that frog. Yeah, if I do get attacked by a mini boss, it's actually a good thing, even though the hit like hell, especially early game, when I haven't got any armor or anything like that. But the loot they can potentially drop is uh, significant. It might not be able to help me straight away because, like I said, I need blueprints. But yeah, if you get like f 10 Kevlar or something like that, like that's a big deal. I do have five ration packs here, but I tend to try not to use them early game if I can help it. I'll try and keep them for the first winter, if anything. See if I can get any more meat. Uh... I heard a frog. Where you at? Oh. oh, we're looking here. All right, now now I have the f enough to make five ingots. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And this needs ten planks and three wood logs. Okay. So, yeah, if you don't know. Uh, you can put the uh, wood logs on that cart and you can hold a lot more. It significantly helps you when you're trying to build as well. Or you can put crates on there where you can haul uh, like loads of stone and stuff like that. Which helps you again in like getting a lot of iron. Ten planks. looking here. Chat, I do apologize if you can hear my dog bark and she's been a little maniac. short are you having a laugh oh. now there's four ingots put them on there
Uh, I've got the last thing of being cooked on there, so I'm gonna have to get enough iron to make some nails now. Uh, 7 p.m. I normally work until about 10 in this game. 9, 10. Hey, there's the anvil done. Now I need to make an iron ingot to turn that into nails so I can make the cart. So you can also put these on the cart as well. So you can just fill them up with loot when you're like looting the town and stuff like that. Saves you having to like do multiple trips basically. And it takes like a couple of real life days as well, in game days, if I loot the respawn in a village as well, so you can't just keep on plundering it, like, all the time. In fact, I'll get enough wood together so I can make another chest. Where's it? No. There we go. them. Should have one spare in here. Alright, create that ingot. Well, have I got a full inventory? Oh, really? Um... Nice, there we go. Wait for that ingot to be done, then we can make a nails, and then we can go and do the village straight away in the morning. So an ideal scenario chat. Ooh. An ideal scenario guys. Would be um We'll find a bunch of aluminium. Just kicking around. So we can make the um, large flask. Or aluminium container, whatever it's called. Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that either. Right, I want that there. There we go.
Oh, I'm still missing two planks. Wait, what? Oh. To be honest, them frogs, I can't remember relying on them for food in the past. Alright, placeable, storage, have that there. Take them. Nice, we've still got the cart. That's big. I'm pretty sure the game has a gr like a grace period uh, before you get attacked at the start of the game. Because I know it used to uh, have a grace, grace period when they used to have the horde mode on. Let's go and raid our first town, guys. Actually, hang on, let me just... I'm gonna get some more clean water just in case. Alright. <clears throat> Hopefully I find like a nice little stash of iron or something like that. I usually come back with like half a dozen le like lead ingots. Yeah, chat. So basically, we need, we'll need to cross our fingers, cross our toes, and everything that we get the loom straight away in the blueprint. Okay. The loom or the advanced workbench. Here we go. I wonder if they have the. I can't remember if they have, if they have the mini bosses in the uh, the actual towns or not. I 
I am really close to this town though. Um, okay, he has the first house. I'll clear out this side first and then I'll do the next side. I've got an egg. Two egg. Nine ingot. Met up oh, first blueprint. Oh my god. Advanced work alright, th th so yeah. That was like uh Ooh, okay. Shit. If we get the loom next. Oh I need that bone. Um I can make a bone spear now. Um yeah, that's big. In the first house, straight away, advanced workbench. That's all my luck gone now though, chat. I'll have to wait until I get the loom like it on the last blueprint. Definitely keep that first aid kit though. It is awfully quiet. Aluminium ingot, uh, yes, I can make a, I need one more of them. I don't need any bricks. Looking for another blueprint. Oh, Kevlar. Nice. There's so many eggs. What the hell? Like, I know they're good if you've got poison and stuff like that, but... Plenty of biofuel. Don't really need that just yet, but... Did I go upstairs in here? Yeah. Not a bad little haul so far. Another iron ingot, nice. Oh, some wire. Uh, I don't need tallow. 
Another iron ingot. Mechanical. Hey, this town is paying out. What the hell? I'll grab that. I'm really surprised I got the advanced workbench there, though. But, yeah. That's all my luck gone now for the game. I'll get the loom in, like, two days now. Who goes to bed with a rock at the bedside table? Uh, maybe a rock enthusiast or something, but... Yeah. Melon seeds, okay. All right, all right, all right. If this is a loom, I swear to God, I will do backflips around my room. Oh. Oil pump. Meh. It is really quiet. Uh. Oh, take that. Yeah, I'll try and hit two towns today, and uh, see what and see what we get. So that'll be like four blueprints.
I'll take that coal. That that'll come in handy. I don't really need all of them melon seeds, to be honest. I am someone who likes to make the greenhouse quite early as well. Right, we've looted that side of the road. Nice. If you can kill them before they let out a little call, sometimes um, you can prevent them calling any additional bambies over. Oh, nice. Okay. Damn, I'll just sit. And I'll just stand here and farm them. They're dropping plenty of iron for me. Um, do this house first. The chicken was stupid enough to get um stuck. Uh, actually, I'll take that onion sprout. Yeah, I'm just trying to get enough bone now because I can't actually get bone myself until I make the butchering table. So, if I stock up on it now, I can make some decent uh, stuff. Yeah. Where the hell did I come in? Uh, it's only 12 p.m. Come on, man. The females you want to watch out for, they're absolute mental. They can like jump and like smash all your fences and stuff like that. Damn, the mini bosses, it looks like they've really been reduced since the last time I played. Ow. So one of my spears is broke. Oh no! Yeah, I'm gonna have to head back. All my weapons is broke and I haven't got enough um, 
gear on me to make anything new. Um, so? Oh, small medical kit. Don't normally find them, to be honest. Well, I've only got like three houses in that town left to um, loot, but I do have both of the blueprints from that town though. Very surprised I got the advanced workbench or straight away. Pretty decent little haul that to be fair chat. Wasn't too bad at all. Cook eggs on here. I need to make some new spears. Just popped it to hit the like button. I will go stream busy setting everything up for my new forty eight. Oh, nice. I am totally not jealous. Yeah, I'm thinking about saving up for the 4070 Ti. Like, that's all I really need. But yeah, I'm not jealous at all, mate. I hope you get it set up all right, though. I appreciate it. Right. Let's... Oh, wait, I can make the... Bone Spear now, so... Uh, where you at? What's on the workbench? Oh crap! Forgot about that. Um, right. Hang on. Let's make a crappy spear for now. Craft that. I need five of them. Is it five or three of these? I can never remember. Oh, it's a three of them and five of them. <laughs> three of them and five of them. Um, right, hang on. There we go. First attempt. Oh, wait, I did have one. Wait, what? That said it didn't have any heat. Oh, I'm cracking up, honestly. Right. Where's the iron? So I've got three iron, three iron ingots that can be done. Uh. All right. 
put that in there, put that in there. Right, I need to take that. So was that three? Right, so there's four ingots towards the ten I need, and I've got some more there. Um, I do have that aluminium as well. Right, I need to go and get some wood. I think I'm going to start doing some defences, actually. Um, yeah. Where's the next town? Uh, this is the problem with where I am here. The next town is here? It's a bit of a hike, that. Oh, they're done. Nice. Alright, so they're the first batch of ingots done. So they can go in here. If I, if I get this done before winter, which it looks like I'm going to, um, I shouldn't have any issue surviving this first winter. There's another ingot there, actually. Let's get that. I have to start organizing all the storage uh, soon. Actually, name that. Um, uh, um, take that one. And uh, name that food. Okay. Not in there. Oh, I forgot I had my chicken on there. That. Bit of grilled chicken never hurt anybody. Okay. Probably should put that on there, to be honest. Take that. Take them out of there. Five ingots to go. Right, food. I'll keep the bone in there for now. Them in there. Okay. I 
I've got a lot of um seeds at least anyways. It's always nice. Right, there's our first aluminium ingot, so we need to keep that. I need to get the work I need to expand the base actually. Um by one. No. Maybe go that way. More empty more empty space up there. How many's in there? Right, six. So that's six. Keep all of that high tier crafting stuff together. Uh, that in there for now. It's really quiet. Maybe the maybe the vampires just don't uh, come up uh, this far like north and chill it just chill out. Maybe. I'm joking when I say that, that there's a reason they haven't came yet. I've got plenty of uh, stone to make iron. Make that that shit. Oh, really? Yeah, that that's all clear that which you need for the roofs. Another ingot. Oh, 
Uh, let's get busy. Yeah, as long as I got a roof over my head, a buttering table, I just need to get the workbench down now. I would say that I'm in a pretty good uh, place. Oh, what am I doing? I need them. When that thunder and lightning is going, man, you can't yet if anything's even sneaking up on you. There we go. Alright. Walls. Uh, let's just put them there like that. Yeah. It's really weird. I haven't like, just had a random Vambia or anything. Just wander through. You normally do. Seven PM, you wouldn't think it, would you? Ooh, corn. Grab that. Yeah, I think this is what I'm gonna go with for today. Have a build now, I'll start putting some defenses around it. Oh 
Yeah, Nicola, how are you doing? Did you have a nice weekend? Hey, mom, mate. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, I'm doing really well, thanks. Other than having a fractured toe, I'm doing absolutely tremendous. <laughs> I've got like a recurrent injury in my big like left toe. Um, I am the only person who can go for a walk, right, and fracture their toe. Now, every time I go on a long walk, now like the injury, like it end up get it end, ends up getting fractured again. I think that's like just something, like the overall like hint I'm getting from that is for us all, don't try and be fit and healthy because we're just going to injure ourselves. So that's like the kind of vibe I get from that. So, yeah. <laughs> this is a great game which was multiplayer. I think some games are good multiplayer and some games are meant to be like single player. But yeah, it is a great game. I like, I like it. Like I say, this has a lot of uh, features in that like people who play Icarus ask for, you know what I mean? You know, like the um, the wiring and uh, the, the, the junction boxes and stuff like that. But yeah, I've already gotten two of the blueprints already. We've just been in the town there and pilfered it. Got the advanced workshop and the oil blueprint, so... Yeah, I know, Nicola, I know. It's the same as, like, they don't want rifles and stuff in the game as well. Yeah, but uh, to be fair, I think there is more survival games out there that you can play multiplayer with than if there isn't. I, don't, I, I honestly don't think there's enough in this game to warrant a multiplayer. Because, I, like, I don't know. From personal experience, um, I think if you went multiplayer in this, you'd, you would get endgame ridiculously quick. When was the last uh, time you played this, Nicola? Have I played it? I've got it. Uh, I think I've got like 17 min minutes on record. No, I got a gifted it, uh, gifted it to me on Steam by a viewer. Like when it very first came out in Alpha. And, um... Yeah. I'll not re I'll not repeat what I said about uh, on it, but obviously it's changed a lot now. But yeah, I had an opinion. Shock horror. Uh, yeah, there's I did subsistence for a long time, which is a great game too. Yeah, that's a good game. It's just uh, yeah. 
No, I haven't really. I, I played that on my friend's uh, Steam account though when I was at his house. Yeah. Would you though? I always found it slow, hence I got bored. Really, Kyle? Honestly. Everyone, everyone plays different though. You played it a year ago. Yeah. So how you played it since the map update, Nicola? And the uh, mini bosses that got added? I don't find this game slow to be honest. Like, I don't know. Like I said, everyone's different. Um, I, 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 I've literally got a video up on the channel of me doing the completing this game in four hours and thirty minutes. I had every blueprint, being everywhere. I even had the uh, alligator backpack as well. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um. But yeah, I, I, I don't think I don't think it's slow. No, I don't put it out. I want to cook my bloody water. I haven't played it since the change and added the wiring to the stuff. Ah, right. Yeah, well, look, the, uh, the, they've got AI in the game now, which you, if you find him, you can, um, he, he'll, he, he'll help you around your uh, base and stuff like that. Been in a while that now, though. Um, yeah. Oh, this. Who wouldn't want to live here? All right, let's move these. Put that there. Oh. Uh, that can go back outside, actually. You found the grind to be tedious. Oh yeah, it goes just a completely different uh, game to this, so um that, that that's the thing though, every uh survival game has their uh, pros and cons. You're never ever gonna get a survival game that has all the pros. It just it just doesn't happen. But, which is fine, it gives uh, people something to moan about, like myself. <laughs> right, three more iron ingots. Three. Four. Yeah, there's not really much going on in Icarus at the minute. Um... Kinda just being pretty chill. Uh, wrong one. Right, I need the workshop. Uh, the oh, what is it? What I need the workbench. Ah, okay. Right. I need to get that finished before I do that. Yeah, the yeah uh, the the blueprint buildings are nice. Um, they've done an overhaul on the food though, Nicola. You need this now. You need the uh, butchering table, and it's absolutely graphic. You will literally yeah, because you can't uh, just carry an animal back now or kill it at a location. 
to move it, you can pick it up, but you walk really slow. Or you can put it on here, you can move it fast. And it's absolutely grim. Uh, but they've added new items into the game from like the animals. You can have the, is it the liver, I think you can have. I think the liver is really good now, which you can get. But yeah, you, yeah, the butchering table is absolutely grim. Like just bits of blood squirting everywhere, and you know all all the fun stuff. But yeah, um, there's another, oh, I could do, to be honest, I could do another ingot now. Yeah, the, this game's a little bit harder now with uh, the Vambi mini bosses that roam the world. They can like really hurt you, but again, as you progress in the game, they're, they're pretty much not that... They've become not that bad. You have to wash your hands, yeah. They've also made it that, um... Oh, I'll show you. Uh, if you get, like, uh, disease now, you have to eat eggs, and uh, it'll cure your disease as well. But yeah, you... <laughs> Nick, now, what are you trying to insinuate here? I'll show you in a minute, actually. Uh... Let me just get rid of that. Um... Yeah, I'll show you the uh, butchering table in a second. Do I not have one stick? Yeah, it's a really good game, but I've never actually hung around, like, around in this game and, like, done a big build on it before. I normally just build within my means kind of thing. Oh, it's a small... Oh, no. Oh, well, whatever. Hey, where'd that stick go? Fuck yeah. Uh, the eggs are a bit weird. Washing your hands gives you a bit of reason, which I like. Oh, I totally agree. Well, I think you can still wash your hands, can't you, Kyle? I'm not sure. I, I do have one save. I don't know if I can still show you it, to be honest. I've been fighting the Marmite. Uh, sometimes they'll wander through here, like the Vambies. Uh, or you'll see them in town. Right now, I'm, to be honest, I, yeah, the, I haven't had any wander through yet. Um, I am only on day two, though. Yeah, but Nick, I don't know if you know, but they removed the... The um the horde mode, no, when they used to attack you on the night time, they removed that for uh, having the um the oh 
what's it called? For having the yeah uh, mini boss. Yeah, this huge castle. Yeah, I had I had a pretty decent build. I had everything, and I upgraded the house to stone. I think yeah, brick. Sorry. Um. But yeah, I've got a, a YouTube short video up on the channel when the when they first got added. They were broken as hell. So I'm dropping like 20, 25, like, no, not 25, 20, um, like Kevlar and stuff like that. They got nerfed, but yeah, and they are so OP, they are so strong, it was unhealthy. I need three more ingots for there. I need ten planks for there. Oh, no way, Kyle. Oh, that sucks, mate. Is that by where the fish lake is, is it, or...? Yeah, this is like a game that I never really come back to and, like, continue on from a build. I always, like, do a, a fresh new start. And it's not many times I really do that in survival games, to be honest. Um, I actually like playing back through this. Yeah, that, that's one thing I don't understand why the devs made it where you only can get the fish from this lake now. It, 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 like, that's one thing I don't get. Right, there we go, guys. Alright. So, we want the bone spear, bone shards, three sticks, five plant fiber. Three sticks, which I know I haven't got. Uh, a bone shard, I know I've got that. Um, got that. I need to get some sticks. Yeah, I'm sure I'm going to have a party here soon. With the Vambies and a mini boss. I used to get swamped by them, but I don't know if they've been like nerfed or anything since I last played. What was it again? Three sticks. One bone shard, five plant fiber, right?
Wait, I put three in there, didn't I? Try that again. Uh, here have the fix the axe swing exploit. I uh, don't know. I'm gonna assume no, cause I don't know about that. Wait, what? One bone shard, three sticks, five plant fiber. Oh wait, it can be crafted on the player as well. Oh, you idiot. Eh? Oh, there we go. Honestly, if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous, chat. No, what what was the axe swing exploit? I'm intrigued. Yeah, to be honest. I, 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 th I, th I think uh, they spent like 90% of their budget on the sound effects for the thunder and lightning. Because <laughs> it's great, but so bloody loud. Come on, Nicola, it wouldn't be much uh, a post-apocalyptic world if it wasn't raining all the time and gloomy, would it? Just a cut down animation. All oh, right, okay. Then I'll let's give it a shot. For science. Um, I'm gonna go with it's fixed. All oh, right, uh, I don't know. Okay. So, uh, how many is that? I need one more ingot. Oh yeah, I've got enough. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, let's start on the defences. Try the hockey as well. Okay. So A plus the hotkey. What the hell? I need three hands. A plus the hotkey. What? 
Nope, working as intended, as you can see, clearly see. Working as intended. Jesus. It's like my guy was on crack. Give myself whiplash trying to see where all the logs are going. Try being you. <laughs> yeah. All right, nice. Now we're cooking chat. Look at that. Look at this. Now I need to just. All right. Let's um. Others. And so Fort Fort Azar begins. My base always ends up being right over there and up there, but yeah, whatever. I do like the razor wired fence you can get now, though. Ooh, you're gonna get it, dear. I'd start hopping away if I was you, Bambi. Uh, all right. In fact, what I'll do is I'll get the. I'll get this built. Right, right there's that. Take that off there, put that there. I'll wait until that deer comes closer. Wait, does that work on the big trees as well? Of course it's going to work on the big trees. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it. All right, now uh, this is great. This. <laughs> that is so broken. I like it. Right. Nothing to see here, guys. Working as intended. Yeah, I like that. 
I like I like that feature. <clears throat> There's me slaving away doing it in the old fashioned way. And I've been playing this game for God knows how long. Give me one of them big... I still had loads of logs up here, didn't I? Oh, where... Where are they? Oh. Who really cares when I can just go absolutely wacko on the tray? <clears throat> yep. the one that's my spear skills coming in handy from Icarus guys it's been like for yeah I've, like I said so, uh, if, when I'm playing a survival game like I, I try like not to look at like um like guides and stuff like that so if there's a, like a legit like way of like cheese and something like that, I won't know about it. Huh? It's all right. You're going to a good place now. Hell. Cause this is what this looks like. <sighs> Come to Fortaza. That's what it's just. Uh, it's Will it work on stone too? Oh God. Uh, which one is that? Yes. See this as I say, uh, hey, hey. Uh, liver. Nice. Alright, well, now we're cooking, guys. Got to sell some animal hide. The bone. Some animal fat. Can I get that? Why is that so big? All right. I need to make a drying rack now since I can start like massacring Bambi, um, which is nice. <laughs> the cross. Oh yeah, so. Now you can't go to the old locations and mine. You've got to mine the ores from inside of caves. You've got to put the extractors inside of caves now. In inventory. Cross. Oh, that. Small med kit. Large med kit. 
Sorry, I thought you were on about the egg. Uh, the, on the uh, map. To be honest, I very rarely find the small med kits. It's always the big honking ones. Not that I'm complaining. Right, grab them. The big ones. I think they've been like that fire. As long as I remember, anyways. All right. Can you keep on breaking them down in them? Oh, you can't. Guys, next week. No, is it next week? Hang on, let me have a look at the calendar. Before I just start chatting random stuff. Yes, next week. I know I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, yeah? So, it's a Friday. I'll be doing my Icarus Patch Notes video on that Friday on the 17th. And I will be streaming, hopefully, throughout the 17th, right through to the 20th. I'm going to try and keep my stream on as long as I can. Uh, because I will have, like, early first look access to Diablo 4. So, yeah, uh, and I am a massive Diablo fan. So, throughout the 17th to the 20th, I am going to be, like, going, like, balls deep into, like, the very early access for Diablo 4. So, um, yeah. So, like, when I'm talking, like, I will be playing that. Three days non-stop. Um, that is what's happening. I'm a very big Diablo fan. Uh, so, yeah, the... It's not a survival game, but it is an ARPG. And, uh, yeah. Entire... I will be tired, but it'll be worth it. I've got to get a level 20 on it as well. Because I unlock like a little backpack with a little black wolf puppy, which you only can get from the early access. And I'm getting my bloody money's worth. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's what's happening on the 17th. Um, yeah. Throughout to the 20th. I think it's 5 p.m. It starts my time when the servers go up. So, yeah. It's... It's gonna be, uh, enlightening. So that's everybody's pre-warning. Hey? Hey! The game says robbed a lot of me. Yeah, well, Diablo 4 is very, um, very grim. It's probably why I like it, Nick Lair. Yeah, look up the trailers for Diablo 4. Absolutely brutal. The announcement trailer is amazing.
Hi, Cal, you take it easy, okay, mate? Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, it, it, I really can't wait. So I'm kind of hoping Icarus just like keeps on delaying their uh, DLC. <laughs> to be uh, to be honest, I don't think we're getting the Icarus DLC for like another two months or so. Anyways, so if I'm like reading between the lines and stuff like that, what they've been saying. Hey, Fort Fort Azar has begun. To be honest, the um the tri there's more go in the trailer than it is in the game. Like it's not it's not like that in the game, honestly. Honestly. <laughs> nah, it's not. It's not too bad. I've really gotten that comfortable spot in the game already where it's just everything's just flowing. Really nice. Can you cook them? You can't, can you? <laughs> um, yeah, so, like, they remastered the, uh, like, the, the, the Diablo 2. Um, Reached like the other year, it's done a really good job with that. Uh... Remember, though, uh, like I said, I, I put an announcement out on Discord saying like all non survival games or like like first impressions and uh, stuff like that. Is all remaining on this channel, but if I want to play like a playthrough, like on my second stream on a night time, which doesn't affect my YouTube channel, I'll be playing them on Twitch on a night time. Um, but like I say, is anything I do on there won't be any survival really anything survival related. It'll literally be variety content. Um, because I play a lot of uh, different genres off stream, which I've been trying on the channel, like testing out, like on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, the numbers haven't been great, unfortunately. And, um... Yeah. And it actually affects the channel. So... Like, the link is in the uh, descriptions if you want to drop me a follow on there. But like I say, it doesn't affect anything I do on YouTube at all, because it's literally on an evening when I'm not streaming anyways. Oh, hello. Uh, it's top down. No, no, Diablo is top down. Hey, Bald, how we doing, mate? But yeah, like I say, so regarding the uh, the Twitch thing, um, nothing's changing on YouTube. Uh, basically, if you, if you just want to watch me for my survival content and uh, Colony Sims and stuff like that, you know, all that staying here, but. Uh, other stuff, uh, which doesn't normally get many views on YouTube, that I'll be playing on Twitch on a night time. Uh, 
Uh, Ball, did you see the uh, finished uh, 3D print? I did, mate. I put it up on um, Discord uh, this morning. It's the time, 8 p.m. Hmm. What can I build now? Yeah, yeah, it's top down, yeah. It's the only way. It's the only way you could do Diablo games. To be fair, um, Nicola. It's a really fun game once you get into it. Chat, you think I should go to the second town now? Well, on the next day, tick. I need to make a drying rack, don't I? An iron ingot for a drying rack, that's scandalous, huh? I know, I haven't found any Vambies at my base yet, but at the, other, at the first town I did, I found quite a few. But yeah, you, you just have played this game, you, you just know the, uh, you've got to get the essentials down. To be honest, I'm way ahead of schedule here. Um... The thing is, though, I'm not, like, openly, like, yay, I want them to attack me because if the new mini-boss attacks me now, you'll just start swinging windmills at my uh, defences and one-tapping them. So, yeah. Forgive me if I'm not too, enthousi uh, like, too enthousias uh, enthusiastic uh, about that. Yeah. Unfortunately, the world ended. There's no bait and cues anymore, mate. Kind of got handcrafted myself. Like Beastbook. What the? Oh, that's going to tilt me, that, seeing them up there. Yeah, to be honest, their uh, balls, they didn't take that long to print, mate. Like, uh, I think they'd done it like half four in the morning. So, nice and early. Um. Right, I've got the drying rack. So this is the town we're going to hit next. Uh, this is such a crappy starting location, this. I, I still had three houses left to hit in this village, but I had both blueprints, so... Um, yeah, I guess it's the logical next place to go to. Uh,
If that raccoon doesn't shut off, I swear to God, I'm gonna spear it in the throat. Such an annoying sound, that. Sorry, chat. <clears throat> I didn't... But no, that's where I started. Like... I, like... You can't do that to a raccoon. Can I not? Well... We'll soon find that out, can't we? Alright. Let's get some more water and then we'll... Alright, let's take that. Got a night. Oh, I'm gonna need one more. Uh, yeah, I, I wherever I start, Nicola, I kind of just like build there. This is like the worst starting location I've ever had, though. Like legit. Up here we call them pole cats with masks on, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, to be honest, I should just go, I should have gone to the middle. I never have, I've never played that game like th this game like that though. I, I, I guess I just like making life hard for myself. Right. So I've got that. Okay, so I've got two spears. We're good. Oh, oh. No. Oh! Oh, eight yeah, nil. No. Shit, yeah. Hey! It's up a class! Oh no, it's not. Oh, leave off, mate. That's right. Is this really making me walk this slow holding this? That's a raccoon. <laughs> I thought that, I thought this spear was stuck up its ass. Yeah. Oh my. Hang on, guys. It's, apparently, I've got to like a walk at one mile an hour. I have to admit, I'd move that quick if I had a spear lodged up there as well, though. Raccoon lollipop, man. Are we there yet?
Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> All right. I really want to get to that town. So this is really slowing me down this. Ah, my favourite time of the day, masquerading animals. Hiya, Toomey. Um, yeah, it's fun, I guess. Um, that was all right. How was your weekend, mate? What the All right, let's get the hell out of here. All right. So I need to go down here. I need to do a bit of fruit and veg shopping as I go down. I'm gonna get jumped by a bear here, and I'm not even gonna be able to put it on the air, uh, on the air uh, car. Your weekend was great. Nice. Good to hear it. Yeah, I've got a fractured big toe. Which is really not helping matters at the minute. It bloody hurts. Oh, come on. I'm only there. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a recurring injury. Like, I fractured my toe la last year. I don't know if you can remember. Like, in, in my, like, I put pictures on Discord. My foot was, like, in this, like, giant, like, black space boot thing, which the hospital uh, forced me to wear. And, like, yeah, it, it was really not helpful. I look like an absolute idiot walking around with it. And, yeah, so it's that injury again. So yeah. Should have balled, man. Yeah. No 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 one's immune to getting banned on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, the Yeah. Ah, cucumber, let's get this. I like doing a bit of grocery shopping on the uh, way down. Grab that.
You what? I was coughing. Yeah, I don't think you just appreciate me like wailing down the mic. Yeah. I accidentally removed this comment from chat. My bad. Sorry, my finger slipped onto my second monitor. It's one of them freak accidents. Ah, uh, no, do me. I hate that. Like, honestly, I hate when people cough and like eat down the mic and stuff like that when they when they're live. I find it one of the most revolting things a streamer can do. Like, I hate when uh, like a streamer's eating on stream. It, it, I I have to turn the stream off. It physically knocks me sick. And especially when they're like eating like a horse grazing on hay. It's like, it, 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 it's absolutely vile. Yeah, mom, I, that, I hate, that's what it's like when, like, I, I hate it, like, it's just not necessary, man. Yeah, it, it do, it's, it's not nice, is it, do me? It's like, you don't want to sit there, chill out, watch someone stream, and then, like, ramming food in their gob, and, like, <laughs> it's like, fuck, Jesus, mate, chill out, you know what I mean? <laughs> Especially if they don't share, yeah. Nah, but see, it's just not nice, man. You know. On the plus side, if the truck's here, that'll uh, put a smile on my face. Oh, like, I I've got a squeaky chair. This, this, this chair is knackered. It's broke, but it's comfortable, though. Yeah, this squeaks like hell is, but I don't know if you can actually hear it or not. By the time I get to this town, guys, it's going to be time to come back. Oh, but you don't hear it. Oh, okay. You no, know, it is. It's a, I think it's, it's only made by one guy, you know, uh, bald. Like, the guy I had help making the truck, I know he's outsourced some help now for the models for the new-looking Vambies. What's the time? Bloody hell, it's past midday. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's do left side first. It worked out well for me the last time. We got two of the um, blueprints. Oh, no. <laughs> We're looking for two blue p Ooh, potato. Oh, <laughs> do me. Look. But, 
so th th this is my my take on ASMR, okay? As long as it's not some individual on a live stream pretending to do ASMR where she's slapping her tongue up against a piece of rubber, which I don't know what does anything to anybody anyways, but anyways. Um, like, if it's legit, like, ASMR and stuff like that and relaxing, fair dues. But you know when someone's grifting and they're doing it for the views. You know that. Did that have an upstairs? Yeah. Yeah, you know when someone's just out for the uh, views and, uh, sent, and, like, sort of get uh, people subscribing on a, uh, <clears throat> another platform, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, I mean, it, come on. People aren't silly. No, it doesn't definitely. No, it definitely doesn't give me a tingle anywhere, and uh, I want to keep it that way. <laughs> oh Jesus! Um, oh, I didn't even look for the bloody blueprint in the other house. Get chat, you put me off. No, it definitely doesn't give me any tingles. And I, I, and I want to keep it that way. <clears throat> How did this come up to being about me anyways? Oh, this is going to be a nighttime run back, this. There's so many empty cans in this ha in this town. I've missed a house. There's no shot. I have done four houses here. Oh, this is going to suck running back in the dark. Uh, don't take... Tingle, that's Pringles, you idiot. Die. Oh, nice. All right, done that house. Time to do these one. <gasps> Cucumbers. What's the time? <laughs> How many nails on here? Bloody hell. Okay. I think three. I think they've increased the amount of small med kits you get now. Because you used to get the uh, big ones all the time. <gasps> oh! Don't 
Don't care. I want to get back to base now. We've got the loom and the advanced workbench in that that is like that is the first time I've ever gotten the loom that quick. I've only ever gotten the loom last every single playthrough I've done of this. See you later, Nicola. You take it easy, okay? Thanks for stopping by. Stay safe. I remember Spangles. Weren't they abandoned in the 80s? Oh no, that was the Bangles, wasn't it? Oh my. Yeah, that loom is big. Spangles are food for Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm not eating any sweets anymore. I'm on a diet. I'm on rabbit food, water, and coffee. I'm on I'm on the Fortazar diet. Opal fruits are nice. Tunes are nice also. Yeah, I w there was no way I was um, running back in the dark, guys. So, I still got one blueprint to get back there. I'll get them uh, the next time though. To be honest, chat, I'm really considering on the next stream now going straight for the uh, alligator backpack. Since I've got the loom now, that is just going to make my life so much easier. Eat some of Doomy's finest potato. So chat, any idea, like, is anyone going to uh, be watching the second stream later? Any ideas what game I should be playing? I've got a couple of ideas. Think about checking out a game off uh, Xbox Games Pass. Um, I 
I hate it when you haven't fifth. Wait. Oh, I've got a hundred scam now. Nice. There we go. Take off like a rocket now. Yeah, make sure you read the in announcement on Discord because, like I say, I'm moving all of my variety stuff onto Twitch. So I need to keep my YouTube, like, uh, survival content and, like, building games and whatnot. And I call me get, uh, uh, building games on YouTube. So, um... Like, if you've got a YouTube channel and you get, like, keys from devs and stuff like that, they look at your numbers of views on your videos and uh, make kind of diversion and all when I was playing like uh, Hogwarts and stuff like that like them kind of numbers really hurt the channel and companies will turn you down for keys and stuff like that it's not all about views with me but hey if I can get a key for free instead of paying for it <laughs> I'll do it but um yeah and it's like actually started hurting my channel Um, people not really being that interested in them games so I kind of find a workaround for it. Which kind of sucks. Yeah. That's me just being transparent. What was that? Well, there's a bear there. Um, but yeah, though, um, yeah, them, them like, uh, playing variety games wasn't doing any good for the channel. But it's worth testing out, though. I'm gonna get back to my base here, and it's gonna be, like, smashed to crap. Like, the mini boss is just going, like, Absolute ape. That looks all right. Home sweet home. I haven't seen a mini boss yet today. I'm getting a bit concerned. Mm. All right, what's on the agenda now? Uh, placeables. Alright. Let's get the loom down. Uh, let's put the loom at the bottom of the bed. Why not? I might actually have... Yeah, I did. I got, I got quite a few nails there on that run. Uh, two iron ingots. I found one. Oh, no, oh, there's another. Oh, nice. That one actually paid for my loom. Big W.
20 plant fiber. Iron ingot. Alright. Doing too bad at all here. <clears throat> Time to use the not so cheaty way of getting wood. been attacked <laughs> let's look that idiot die <sighs> aluminium aluminium that's what we need huh nine ingot that'll do I will never ever harvest trees like the original way ever again. Nicola and Kyle have corrupted me. Nice. That is good that though having the loom done on the first stream. That's like major that. I'll have to remember though, I'd still have one blueprint to get in that town. Cucumbers over there. Need more meat. All right, so what do we need for the advanced workbench? Can't believe I'm even saying that. Advanced workbench and... And the loom. I need two animal hides and two rope. Oh, I've got the one. I haven't even got any copper. God damn it. Hey, Vinyl, how you doing, mate? We 
Which one's the cop back here? But... Wait, hang on. Where's the cop back cave again? Uh, well, that ain't bloody helpful, that's the old map. Oh no. This is like the worst like possible start I've had. Like location wise. Uh we're gonna have to dive in a cave guys and get us uh, some air uh, cover on the next day tick. I don't, I don't think it's that bad of a little uh, setup I've got going on here, guys. What do you think? Bit of an idiot, really, aren't you? I'm not even going to put it out rich misery. <sighs> One clear. One clear. Are you having a laugh? Be gone. Need aluminium. That's what I need. Right, so this is where we've got to go, guys. Got to go all the way back down this road where I just came from, basically. Got to go down there. What's the cost for a miner to get an extractor or whatever they're called? Eighteen iron ingots.
I might go for the greenhouse. Maybe. Nah, I'm gonna have to get the mineral extract up first, aren't I? Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna have to save up for 18 um, ingots. snooze bright and early Yeah, there's no really point in me going to the... Because this is the Cobalt Cave, this one. That's copper, that's aluminium. That's the one good thing about this location. I've got them three within range. One sec, guys. Oh, wow. Um, I just got an email off Air Fire Vast Guys because I'm backing them. And uh, they just hit 100% of their target over the weekend. Oh, they've added some really cool stuff in Fire Fire Sky. I can't wait to play that game Fire Skies. Yeah, um, they, they ran like a Kickstarter thing, uh, last week. So I like I backed it so I could get uh, even early access, and uh, and the, and it, like the game was still it didn't affect like the uh, the release cadence of the game. It was just so they could uh, add additional things in, and uh, yes, they have. Uh, right. Let's go down to this cave down here. Let's just go and hit this one here. Keep on thinking I'm in, uh, on Icarus where I can just bookmark stuff. So as I put a mineral extract down the cave I'm going in, into now, I'd get cobalt out of it. But I'd, but I'd be doing more, but I, yeah, eventually, mate. It felt a bit rough, mate. Uh, that's why I haven't been back on it. I will, I, I will uh, take another look at it, but 
uh, yeah, the... Like, like I said, it was crashing and all sorts on my system, mate, and, and it felt a bit janky. So I'm going to give it a, a couple of more uh, patches and stuff like that. Like, I really did like the building on that game. It's a good game. Like I say, it's, um, it still feels a little bit raw right now. I think I like getting no one survive because it reminds me so much of a uh, H1Z1 just survive. Yeah, let's see. I'll give a couple of uh, decent patches, mate. Oh, they've made the caves darker. Let all, I don't want let all. I'll take that call though. Not really beneficial at all, that to be fair. Yeah, I need a torch, man. Can't see any. Oh, that's cool. Ah, my pick's broke. Oh, well. Oh well. Now that says that uh, the the games I'm waiting to like survival games I'm waiting to play anyways. Is um in no particular order. Feather Skies Nightingale uh, 
Star, uh, Starfield's more of like an RPG, isn't it? But uh, Starfield, because uh, you, you do have like uh, some elements in there. Um, and obviously, obviously the Icarus DLC, but that's like potentially two, three months away. Of that. Uh, obviously, Occupy Mars. That's a new one on the list. Can't wait for that to be out as well. But like non-survival games, Diablo 4 is out on the 17th. Like, uh, like I said, already discussed that I will be live pretty much from when that game in early access goes live in the beta on the 17th thrill to the 20th. So. Home sweet home. Got a vampy down there just chilling out. Vamby sunbathing, yeah. Where is that? I'm actually uh, surprised what I've got unlocked the deer. Hey, that... Get... Get in there, the loom, on the second hit, is just... crazy. Uh, I'll make the lead ingots. Like I say, is I, ca I can't do anything with lead just yet. Just yet. I forgot I had that dry food there. New donation from Taff. Oh, thank you very much. I was expecting to say something. Thank you, mate. Much appreciated. Man of many words. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you very much, mate. You know, I was expecting like a, a little bit of a speech. No, you're just cruising. Man of many words. All right. Yeah, you, mate. I, well, I knew you weren't referring to me. Come on. Joking. I ain't no big head. Right. Chat. Like, I'm really kind of like, I'm in a position now where I've done more than I really expected to do. Um, the only way I'm going to get two cop ingots at this point is if I get attacked. 
That is the only way I'm gonna... But I'm gonna add another wing onto the house. And then... Oh, hang on. Hey. Get over here, you. Shut up. So... Oh, I need this. I spotted this a mile off there. I need to get the seeds off first. Thank you. A melon. Melons are really good. I need them in a recipe later on. Because you've actually got to cook stuff on the stove and uh, whatnot. Alright. Um, let's have a look here. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, I might, I might expand the entrance. Okay, let's do this. What's the time? Alright, okay. Get rid of that. Oop. Pop that there. Um. Right. And then. Oh no. Right. Can I? I don't know if this is going to clip or not. Construction stairs. Yeah. God damn it. I need four planks. They keep on going on the roof at really bloody and sudden annoying that one two three four okay uh walls i want to go like that and like that so what so the stairs are going to run down here and then it's going to be like a dog leg here because i'm going to put a clothes rack here later game so i can get dressed yes that is a thing uh so you can swap out your hot and cold clothes and stuff um Uh, logs. Okay. Not there. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I don't have to. I can just move it. Keep... There we go. Stairs. There we go. Construction. Wall. All right. Oh, no, I haven't got an axe. Um, I need a stone. Let's 
go nuts on this thing. <laughs> that is so stupid. It's faster, but it still like uses up the same amount of HP on your actual tool, which is good. I wouldn't have used this if it if it, if it was a complete like cheat. Throw a couple of little jumps in there to spice it up. Three biofuel. That's not bad. Okay. Yeah, so basically, if they attack my door, now I've got like an eye shot at the door now. And I can uh, poke them with my uh, stick. Spear. Wait, what? Did I not? Do I put all the wood in? Oh. That chicken wants to start off. Oh, come on. To be honest, the women did have hair before, and um, the look. To be honest, the old version of the women looked better. They had long black hair, and they're like, and like uh, they've done this like this weird like screeching squeal thing, and it was absolutely horrible on a night time when you heard it. So. Yeah, the um, it the uh, it's like the they're all bald now. All of them, actually. Come to think about it. Swear to God. Imagine hearing that chicken all the time and then hearing a little squeaky fox. It gets so bloody irritating, the noises. You can't even disable them. You only can disable the animal. Get in there, son. One nil to four is all.
<laughs> Bored. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the uh, are oh, they? It's like they do like a loud wheel, like a loud wheeling noise. I oh, used to. They're not as bad now, because the females used to they do this like leap and attack as well, which used to hit your air uh, defenses. But I think they've been. I think they've been tuned a bit now because of, uh, like I said, the mini boss is being nerfed. Rotten. Compared to when I last played this. Like I said, I've got a YouTube short out. Um, of literally when how bad the uh, mini bosses were when they first came out. Came out? Came out. But they've got 500 HP. That's a lot, though, for a Vambi. I'm a double shot with the, uh, the spear. They're a bit more like uh, on target in this and like uh, Icarus. Yeah, the steel spear is like the best one you can get in this game. And it's absolutely wild. It's really good. Can I move that to there? Fortunately. Yeah, the vampires can't get in. They the always the lock onto your where your bed is, and they'll, they'll they'll try and go for it. So what I normally do is put my bed on the second floor and, and in the center, because it doesn't take them long to get through wood if they if they if they, they overwhelm you basically. But it very rarely happens that. Very rarely. I may just stick with the flat roof for now because I'm not quite sure what I want to do. So now the reason why I put them railings up because they're really good for farming the Vambies. I really, chat, I really wanted to show you the uh, mini boss, but I've literally had no luck here today. Well, in terms of mini bosses, I've had loads of luck, loads of luck with regarding blueprints, but. I might put another door here, actually. 
is like a safeguard. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the clothing clothing uh, rack in here. Have a little look around, see if you can see one or not. Hmm. See if I can f hang on, I'll see if I can get me that find that YouTube short for you, uh, so you can actually see what it looks like. Honestly, it, it, it's it's wild. If this is what it was like on launch, though. I don't know what it's like. Um, um, oh, uh, yeah. Check, check this out, guys. Uh, yeah. It's only a YouTube short, but yeah. Th that's the, uh, mini boss. But that, that is before it was, like, properly tuned and stuff like that, though, but... Yeah, it's, it's pretty wild. Make sure you give it a like as well, guys. <clears throat> Alright, so we've got some iron ingots there. I'm thinking I had one more addition to the base here. Alright, we need the door there actually. Right, let's get that on there. I need eight planks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but, well, t uh, there was three, actually. Um, when I was recording that, um, yeah, th there was three. Hey, Amp, how you doing, mate? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. But, uh, yeah, the, there was, um, the, the, they were roaming all over, mate. Um, uh, when they added, when they first got added. And their loot table was screwed as well. Their loot table's been nerfed now, though. Um, but yeah, the the um, but now apparently it's different. The 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 not as the not as free Roman is what they used to be. Good mate, finish work, time to chill. Nice, that's good. But yeah, the. So I know a joke, man. And I think I can say a watermelon. It might be a rock also, though. Oh, no, it's a watermelon. Thank you very much. Yeah, all the logs and stuff have gone on the bloody roof. Yeah, it's the infected app. Um, no, it's not a new game. It's developed by one person. Um, it is on Steam. It's relatively cheap. I don't know if it's on sale or anything at the minute. Um, but yeah, it's it's a good, it's a genuinely good build and survival game. It's got seasons on it. It's got a whole power system on it, wires, junction boxes. It's got trucks on it, which you can... Bear in mind, you can't build the truck. You've got to find it and repair it. 
And it's single player. It's got watermelon anyways. That's good, that. That's really good. Yep, it is survival. Uh, I'll have a look for you, actually, if it's on a... Um, store page. Um, it's £11. That is actually a really good uh, price for this, to be fair. Yeah, £11. So... Uh, there it is there, guys. That's the uh, Steam page, huh? Alright. Let's have a look out the back and see. Oh, oh. I don't want fat. God. I need al I need one aluminium ingot to make a a large canteen. Yeah, I finished it. Um uh I finished it that night when I was talking to you, mate. Uh very good game. I really wanna see if they bring out a sequel. Because of the ending. Um, highly recommend it. I am glad I bought that over Sons of the Forest. I had a great time playing through it. Good story. An interesting story. Um, highly recommend it. So... Yep. Highly... Recommended. Yeah, exactly. It's, um, it has potential. And I guess it was about 11 hours or so, like completion time. I had a good couple of streams on it, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it was a it was a it was a fun game. I enjoyed it. Oh mate. Oh Stuart, um I, did anyone back um Forever Skies, when they done they done a Kickstarter last week, guys, and they hit hundred percent already. Um, so it it like they were already funded for it and stuff like that. I've just had the email off them. They've just been a hundred percent funded on the additional Kickstarter they did. Um, so we get to, I get to play the uh, Forever Skies early now, uh, cause I backed them. So I'll be I'll be able to play Forever Skies um early. Like before the official release, I think it. I think it's like a, a couple of days early. Risk of rain. I've heard of it. Yeah, uh, Occupy Mars is going to be definitely a good one uh, for me to play. Uh, I look forward to creating content around that. Yeah, well, we uh, on the Kickstarter that did the other day, um, uh, they had different tiers. I think the base game is going to be like twenty five quid or something like that. Uh, but I backed it so I could get early access and like um, and I get like a special skin for like the airship. Which you only got from uh, back in the uh, special Kickstarter they did. 
I just wanted the uh, additional early access to a couple of couple of days. To be fair. <laughs> but yeah, it's um I I, I can't wait for for us guys. I had a blast um playing that demo. Like even the extended demo. Got a video up on YouTube, I believe. I forgot I had me chicken on here. Yeah, exactly, yeah, but, um I think, I think that's why I can't really uh, say anything about uh, like uh, early access games and stuff like that. Because like you've just said, uh, as a content creator, me having the game like four days early or something like that and creating content, you know, it it, it drastically imp like helps my channel. So every content creator is the same when it comes to that kind of aspect. Be hard pushed to find a content creator who uh, would go, no, no, I hate early access. Because, like, they're nearly all back air games and stuff like that. All right. Like, right, 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 right. But, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to put the stairs here. I'm going to have stairs going up onto the second floor here. It's the only reason why I've done the early access for um, Diablo 4 as well. It's because uh, I wanted the four days early access in the beta. <clears throat> and plus I'm a bit of a skin whore. I like skins on uh, stuff. So I get, like a whole <laughs> I get like a whole bunch of skins. So yeah. Um... Uh, see you later, bald mate. You take it easy and thank very much for the donation, mate. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on. Give me a bloody aluminium, Danny. Uh, what, for Forever Skies? Or oh, for uh, Diablo 4, uh, the middle one? Because the additional t uh, for Diablo, yeah, I think you're talking about uh, the middle one. Because um, the most expensive one adds ten pound on, and it gives you extent like the the extra levels on the battle pass. It it's not worth it. You can like you can I, I can just upgrade down the road and get the additional things. To, um, you know what I mean? It, it it's really neither here or there. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 it's the most expensive one. Just gives you a dish, like unlocks your early, some early tiers for you on the uh, the battle pass. Which to me, I'm gonna be playing the game anyway, so I really don't need to pay like an extra ten pound. You know what I mean? Uh, which one? No, not 
that one. That's the one. Alright. All right, chat. That's where I'm gonna call it here. Yeah? Um, I'm gonna go and get some food. Remember, though, guys, my second stream, I will be playing. I actually haven't decided what I'm playing yet, but that is gonna be on my Twitch channel as I'm gonna be doing my variety content on there. So I don't like uh, start like giving all you guys like random vibes with John Survival Games on the YouTube's. So yeah, the link is down in the description if you just wanna drop me a follow on there. And I'll be live on there in a little while after I get some food. As always, well, thank you very much for your generosity generosity today. Your follows, your subs, and your donations. But make sure you do drop a like on the stream. And I'll see you. It's, hmm, it's Wednesday tomorrow, isn't it? Right. I'll be live tomorrow checking out anything on the experimental branch for Icarus. If not... I'll be on this in the afternoon. Um continuing this. That's that's the plan anyways. Anyways, I'll see you all later guys. Thanks for hanging out. And no, wait, it's Tuesday tomorrow, is it? Wait, what? Oh. I've been thinking it's Tuesday all day today. Oh, okay. Oh, it's because I streamed on Sunday. I know me have Sundays are right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, just ignore everything I've just said. Yeah, I'll be live tomorrow playing this tomorrow, guys. <laughs> All right. You take it easy, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, honestly, it's... Oh, well, look. Hey, I'm going. Okay. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you later, do me, mate. You take it easy. Uh, and you too. Uh,